What's up everyone, this is Tao from Big Bro Security back with another video and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Logitech Ergo K860 keyboard and the Logitech MX Master 3. Let's get started. First we have the Logitech Ergo K860. This keyboard is really well designed by Logitech. It is their first split keyboard design, so it has a split down the middle. At least that I'm aware of, I'm pretty sure it was their first. This keyboard is really comfortable when you're typing on it. The typing experience is great. It's that of a normal, uh, non-mechanical, so chiclet style keyboard as far as how the keys feel and actuate. Compared to a mechanical keyboard, your key travel is a lot less, but that's really not an issue, and that's kind of what I was expecting when I did buy this keyboard. The typing experience is really great. The wrist rest is very comfortable. It's not as soft as some wrist rests like my one for my Razer Huntsman Elite, but it does the job quite nicely. It's the perfect amount between being hard and being way too cushy. I think it's right in between and it works really well. This keyboard also has two layers of decline. So whereas a normal keyboard, you would incline it like this. With this keyboard, you have two options for declining for even better ergonomics, especially if you're standing at a standing desk and it's a bit low, maybe you might want to use that decline feature so your hands are placed in an even more ergonomic position. This keyboard also is able to pair with up to three devices at a time. It pairs using a USB dongle, which it can share with the MX Master 3. It can also pair using a Bluetooth to more than one device. It has three device options on here, which is really nice. The whole layout of the keyboard is really great. It works for both Mac and Windows. There is no Windows logo on the start key. It just says option and then start and then CMD and alt for both of the key sets. So it works great if you're using it for Windows or Mac OS. Personally, having CMD and the little CMD symbol there has confused me a little bit because it looks kind of like start. So I've had to work on actually properly hitting the correct start key but I don't think that's really a problem. Overall, I think this is a great keyboard. The build quality is great and it's definitely worth the $124 I had to pay for it. I'm going to be using this keyboard at work five days a week from now on as we're going back in the office full time next week. That's why I went ahead and purchased this keyboard because compared to the standard keyboard that I have now, this is infinitely better, more ergonomic. I'm actually upgrading my office in the probably the next video that you guys will see which is a day in the life of me and I'm going to go get a standing desk for my office and things like that to help make the experience better for when I go back in office full time. Anyways this keyboard is really great and I give it a 10 out of 10 for the typing experience. As far as gaming goes I would say it's probably about a 7 out of 10. You do have some trouble reaching for different hotkeys sometimes depending on your muscle memory. I've only played Minecraft a little bit with this and it hasn't really been that big of an issue but I could see it being an issue in some more bigger hotkey based games. So the overall score for the Logitech Ergo K860 would be a 9 out of 10. I think it's almost the perfect keyboard. The one thing that I wish they would include is a backlight for the keys. They don't include a backlight right now. Um, that's not really an issue for me as far as the, usually the light from my monitors can illuminate the keys. And I am a what's called a touch typist apparently. I've been this way for ever since I was like six and learned how to type where I don't have to look at the keys when I'm typing. It's super great. Um, and it means you really don't need a backlight, although a backlight can be useful at some point. So I would like Logitech to put a backlight in the next version, if at all possible. Especially for a $130 keyboard, it really does seem like you should at least have a backlight. All right, next up, we're going to be talking about the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, which I'm about to accompany the Logitech Ergo K60 keyboard. Now, you might be wondering, well, why did you not buy the Logitech vertical mouse, the MX vertical? And the answer is I went to Best Buy and I tested the vertical and I tested the MX Master 3 and the vertical, I just didn't really like the feel of it. It was too light and almost felt cheap feeling compared to the MX Master 3. Additionally, the functionality of the MX Master 3 made it a good choice for me. It has a small button down here on the thumb rest that you can press down and program it to vary its functions within their software. It also has two other buttons on the side which you could use for say adjusting the DPI speed or whatever functions you choose to program it to. It has a horizontal scroll wheel which I find really great for editing and things like Premiere, DaVinci Resolve and it can be programmed for pretty much anything you want to do as far as the scrolling action is concerned. If you're horizontal scrolling on a web page, which means that web page is unresponsive, one, those website developers should probably fix their web page, 
but to this horizontal scroll does make it incredibly convenient if you have to do so. Also, if you're scrolling in like long sideways text documents or you're a programmer who has to scroll horizontally a lot, this mouse will be amazing for you. The keys on this mouse are pretty good and have a good tactile feel. That's how they sound. And then we have the scroll wheel, which kind of does the notch scroll whenever you're scrolling slow, but then you can scroll fast and it'll smooth scroll. So it's really great for scrolling down long lines of text. These are th functions that the MX Vertical did not have, which is why I chose the MX Master 3 over the MX Vertical. The MX Master 3 charges via USB-C, which is really great. I love that about this mouse. And it can pair with up to three devices as well, just like the Ergo K860 keyboard can. Overall, I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe this helped you with your purchase decision if you're looking to buy a Logitech Ergo K860 keyboard or MX Master 3 mouse. These are great peripherals to use if you're a cybersecurity professional or student and are planning to do a lot of typing and just using your computer in general. If you're programming, even more so, I would say they would be great for you. I personally prefer the end user experience of these peripherals to my Razer Huntsman Elite keyboard and my Razer Death Adder Chroma mouse. I like the feel of the MX Master 3 mouse a bit better. I like the ergonomics of the K860 keyboard. However, I'm not going to be replacing my peripherals at home because I still really do love the mechanical keyboard and the feel of typing on that as well as the fast uh, response time that it has and the RGB and everything. It just kind of goes with my gaming setup at home. Eventually, if I get my own home office, when I build my own house or something, then I might have like two setups, a professional and a gaming, and obviously gaming peripherals would go there. But for now, these are going to go at my work office where I'm gonna be doing strictly professional work and not doing any gaming or anything like that. So I'm not, I don't obviously don't need any of the RGB stuff. Anyways, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out on your purchase decision. If you're looking to purchase this keyboards, I would highly recommend it for a cybersecurity professional or student looking to spend lots of time at their computer, as well as a programmer. If you're planning to do any sort of software development and you're spending a lot of time at your keyboard, I'd highly recommend it as well. And pretty much anyone who's planning to do a lot of typing and spending time at their computer. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell so you're notified every time I release a new video. Got some cool new content coming soon that I'm sure you'll enjoy. I'm Tao and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.